Welcome to another production of the program. Here we are on TV. Once again, once a day, every day, turn on the machine and live forever. Here we go. I'm alive again. I guess I never. Am I alive again or am I alive for the first time or am I alive for the 4,024th time? Or um, just still. Or still alive. I'm still alive. I'm alive again. I'm still alive. You're alive. Unless you're a ghost, and that'll be weird. Uh, I have been hearing about the ghost. Yeah, the, the ghost watching. Yeah, I've been talking about the ghost, and then I was even watching. I don't know if I was watching the messages from the past or whatever, but it's always this. Um, I guess I guess I've had this fear for, for a while that somebody not alive is watching this program. I guess if I was a ghost, I would watch TV. Yeah, I mean. I'm not a ghost and I'm watching TV already. Yeah. We, um, if you're a ghost, you gotta have to fly around to everybody's TV to make sure, or, or find somebody with good taste. Yeah, and you, you like watch their TV. Like, why are you haunting me? It's because you, of your taste in television and movies. You have a fun life. I'm following you around. I'm just pretending. Uh, like live in the movie theater or something. Uh, yeah, Friday, this is my one more week now of vacation. For some reason, all my jobs are starting on Fridays. But next Friday, my job starts. And uh, today is Friday, so this is my starting one more week of, of vacation time, which is a weird thing for me to be doing. I like never have vacation time. And I guess, I, I don't know, this doesn't really count as vacation time kind of does. Yesterday on Thursday I was here. Uh, it's hard to know because of vacation time. What, when I do things. What did I do yesterday? Yesterday I... Uh, what did I even do before the program yesterday? Thursday. I must have come down here at some point. But why? <laughs> when? I had pizza yesterday. I Thursday, yeah, I had the eggplant pizza. It was like kind of like the afternoon. I think it was like around like six. I'm trying to remember what I did before I got here. I must have been doing something because otherwise I would have gotten here earlier, maybe. But I think I slept. I slept. Yesterday a while. you bought a TV. Was that yesterday? Yeah, but I think that was it? Wednesday. Tuesday. Was it Tuesday? Was yesterday. No, yesterday. What was yesterday? Thursday? No. Wednesday. Wednesday. No, Thursday. Wednesday. What is today? Friday. Friday. I had the TV all of yesterday. It's not too big for the wall? Uh, no, it's not. I think I bought it on Tuesday. Did I buy the TV on Tuesday? Wednesday. Wednesday? Yeah, you definitely got it on Wednesday. I just thought, wait, what did I do yesterday? I don't know. Well, never mind. Yeah, no, yesterday. This is voice. Yeah. So I got the TV on Wednesday. Yesterday was Thursday. I... I ate breakfast, and then maybe I just came down here, maybe I didn't. Oh, you know, yesterday I went to Walmart to get, like, TV accessories before I came down here. And uh, I went to Walmart, and then I came down here afterwards. So I was around here probably, like, 4 to 6, something like that, talking to Jessica in L.A. You know they have a VHS store? Oh uh, yeah, wait. I I heard about that. They're, uh, <laughs> they they have they're opening a VHS store, but we have more VHS tapes than they do. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, I'm actually in the hallway right now as you're talking to the sh the people there, uh, organizing them. And yeah. I, I keep finding crazy tapes that I've never heard of before, like this movie Switchback from 1997 and The Trail to Hope Rise. Yeah, so we have tapes. we have more tapes than a, a store. We have more tapes than we could really handle. Yeah. Um, but they're doing that. Maybe they're going to, we're going to trade. They have a lot of Titanic. Perhaps. Are they trying to be selective? Maybe. Maybe, but we're going to trade them the, our good tips for Titanic. That's a good idea. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So that's how, like, yeah, we have a problem where <laughs> it's like our brother, we, like, when we find bad tapes, it's good. And we're like, hey, look, bad tapes. Like, the good tips are, oh, you found Storm of the Century on VHS? 
Oh, yeah. Actually, I found that today um, at, like, uh, I went to that flea market downtown, actually. Oh, and they had that there? Wow. Yeah. Um, they got, like, a little VHS selection run by, um, this guy's got, like, you know, he's got VHS and um, N64 games and all of that stuff. But um, Good stuff. that was the one tape I found that was, I, I actually have been looking for that tape, so that's Stephen King book. That's good. Um, yeah, Jessica saw a dead rat. Maybe want to ask you about your dead thing, which apparently I did. I think I did yesterday. After the program on Thursday, I think I just got in my car and drove home. I'm kind of like driving kind of ran like different ways and then you start going and then you just like kind of go and then if I feel like turning I just do you know like I'm not trying to be too direct because by the time I get back and I'm gonna charge the car again be a full power by the next day so I'm just kind of like wandering through the streets kind of want to wander through the neighborhood I almost got back in the car in the middle of the night last night and I'm just like I want to go somewhere but there's nowhere really where to go I have so much food I have like First world problems, but too much food in my house. I gotta eat it, and I kind of wanted to go get donuts. I was like, uh, I'm gonna go get donuts, but it's like, what about all these, all this food? It's gonna go bad if I don't eat the food. So I didn't get donuts. I didn't go anywhere again. But I did watch that TV. That TV is really, really big. Yeah, is it, is it like a movie? Because I've like sat in the back of the movie theater and I've been like, okay, this is not even quite as big as a TV at home at times. So this is, I mean, I feel like you basically have got a movie theater sized TV. Now. Yeah, it feels like a movie theater sized TV. It's kind of ridiculous almost. Uh, it's funny to watch the program on it or any other like bad YouTube video, like bad quality. Uh, in the giant screen now, now all these TVs look so small. So why do you need a big TV? He's like, oh, he's like, you don't really need a big TV is what I kind of found out, I guess. You're still getting about the same amount of information as a small TV or something. But bigger is, I guess it's just better. It's just like, wow, that's big. I'm glad I, I I'm happy about it though. Um, but I just went home, watched that TV, did a little bit of reading. I'm reading, there's a TV show about Bill Clinton and his scandals. A TV show on FX, and I'm reading the book that it's based on. So I'm going to learn all about Bill Clinton's scandals. Uh, you know about Bill Clinton's scandals? Not the main one, I guess, the Monica Lewinsky scandal. But the way you're talking about it makes it seem like there's there was multiple a ones. bunch of scandals. Were they all like in the same vein of being like personal yeah. and like sexual? Yep. Oh yeah. Linda Tripp. Wow. Kenneth Starr, Monica Lewinsky, yep. Uh, you know, at least the, that style, I mean, that obviously says a lot about the person who he was or is, but, um, you know, like, I guess uh, Nixon has a lot of scandals, but they're all financial and, like, yeah. kind of evil. Yeah, they're honestly. worse. So it's like, at least... Um, it's, it's a lot different. Yeah, Clinton's just like a playboy, maybe. Or a philanderer or something. But uh, maybe that makes him a better president. He's better at compartmentalizing. Yeah, he didn't, he didn't like, I guess, uh, use the whole country as his personal piggy bank. But he did, <laughs> like, use his office to get laid, I guess. Yeah, and that's... Um, like power dynamics or something? Yeah, they they're both it, bad in different ways, obviously. But I guess there's there's no like there's no consent in power dynamics or something. I think is what the maybe is that what they say? Makes um, sense. Yeah. Something like that. So that's why, like a lot of the a lot of people are getting canceled because they're famous people and then they're like you said you said so at the time and then you. They say you're famous, though, and that's why you can't you can't not you be a powerful person with your fame. Uh, but uh, yeah, so reading that book, and then 
Today I went with Bird and uh, Bird's sister and we went to Ocean Shores. And um, the beach? You went to the beach today? I went to the beach today with oh, Bird. Wow. But I don't know why. Bird wanted to go to some like fancy restaurant. Mm -hmm. I like wanted to go to McDonald's out there. Well, you go, you, you know, you're like, you gotta go to something you can't go. Yeah, Bird, Bird said he's gonna, or he bought the food. He's like, I'm buying the food. What? You bought so, the whole food? So I'm like, well, I guess you get to decide where we're going, but this place seems kind of bougie and fancy to me. And it was, and then it was, I went to a sit down place, which was for the first time, it was outside though. But I haven't been to a sit down place the whole time, and I kind of told myself I was never gonna go to one again. But I was maybe socially, I was in a socially obliged situation or something. You couldn't say no. He was driving. I mean, I could have, I could have really, I could have said no, but it didn't seem polite. Yeah. He was like, he was like, I'm gonna drive, I'm gonna drive to this restaurant and buy it. And well, I, I told him that I've been not going to those places, and I think that they're weird. And it was weird. I was right. <laughs> it was like way expensive, and it wasn't very good. What it did you have? I had a burger with peanut butter sauce on it. What? Which peanut is, butter? Yeah. I've had peanut butter sauce burgers that I really like. This one wasn't that good. The burger had too many flavors. It was bougie. Too bougie. I felt like they put weird things in there. I'm like, what is in this burger? Like bougie, bougie spices or something. Like, why can't you just make a burger? They want to do weird things to it. But maybe it was because I bought the peanut butter burger. But, uh, yeah, very bougie. People bringing your food out. It's weird. Uh, I don't like it. I still don't like it. I don't know. I'm going to try not to do it again. Unless I end up in a weird situation. Maybe it was like, I mean, is that power dynamics? <laughs> They're like, Bert, I don't want to go to this place. I'm buying it. Right. Yeah, I feel like... Uh, it's not, not in a lesser extent, slightly power dynamics. I mean, you would not have gone probably to a, that restaurant otherwise. I definitely would not have gone to that, but Bird drove there and paid for it, so I did go. And it was weird. They bring your food out. They're wearing, they're wearing the mask. You're not wearing a mask. It's like very, like when they wear a mask and you're not wearing a mask, it's like very like servitude. I always feel really bad. But couple like indoor restaurant dining situations and almost like kind of put it back on and then it's like a little a little funny like you're like they, they're starting to come up you can't really control when they're coming up to the table and you're always just like whoa whoa oh, oh yeah so you, you, have you eaten indoors i haven't a, a handful of times yeah i went and visited my parents and they wanted to go to a restaurant yeah i it's have like, I, it's like it's all in a sense this was the first time i've been like served in years. I think it's been like two years, basically. For the first time that I've been like served at a restaurant, like sat down, and it was weird. But then we went to the beach after eating at the weird restaurant, and the beach was nice. It still exists. You know, well, it, seems like it was a very hot day. Probably a very mild and pleasant day at the beach. Perfect weather. Is it hot here? I thought it was perfect weather here. Like it right got a little too hot out of the crowd today, actually. Uh, well, it was perfect weather at the beach. Yeah. Just really nice. And there's a lot of people there. But not too many people, but a good amount. And there's sand, and there's the waves. And the ocean still exists. It's like, maybe the ocean doesn't exist anymore. Even though I hear it here every day. Um, it does exist. And I went there. There's a lot of houses out there. I'm about to work from home. I could move to the Ocean Shores if I wanted to. But then I guess I'm away from the studio. And I'm not going to move. But I could. I guess I could always move. I could always do a lot of things. Uh, but moving is awful. I just moved and my back hurts still. I don't know. Maybe it's just bad now. I think I just got a bad back now. But uh, went to the beach. Went to... After the beach, Bird wanted to go to Dairy Queen, too. We went to some Dairy Queen, and like we went to, and there was only like two people working at Dairy Queen. It's weird. McDonald's out there. A sign says that they're hiring for sixteen dollars an hour at McDonald's, which is pretty wild to me. So if you want a sixteen dollar an hour job, 
uh, in uh, wherever that place is in Aberdeen. You work at McDonald's for, for, for money. They're paying, paying it up now. Um, and then we yeah, drove around Bird Sister, Bird Sister and Bird. They kind of squabble a little bit. Bird was, Bird was in the back seat and he was like, I think he was pretty much literally back seat driving. And then his sister was like, don't drive, back seat drive. I don't know, Bird, are you watching this live? I told him I'm going to be, he's like, no, nobody's watching it live. Um, you know, I don't know which way to go, like, do this or that. Huh? Yeah, he said, he, Bird said that driving in the left lane for too long is left lane camping or something. He's like, you can't be in the left lane the whole time. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. I mean, it makes some sense, but, like, what are you concerned about, Bird? Why are you worried about that? Uh, then we went back to Bert's place, ate some more food, and I was very full. Bert fed me too much. And I'm stuffed from not even eating food here. I'm program. I want to eat my pills. I think I ate kind of recently. You're probably fine to take those pills anyway. It's okay to eat the pills on top of the thing. Yeah. Better if it's mixed in, but probably fine. Yeah, I'm going to eat the pills. Uh, I'm going to look at the messages after this. And so. That's where I just where I was just at Bird's place, and then we're coming over here. Uh, what a life, driving now, doing things, on vacation. I don't know what to do. I was gonna go like get the license plate. I was gonna go tomorrow, but then I decided I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna go. Like I almost was gonna go tomorrow and then go again on the next day, but that doesn't seem good, like a good idea. So I don't know. I guess we're gonna maybe do that. Maybe I'm gonna go to this thing tomorrow. Potentially. What is that? What time is that thing at? It begins at two o'clock, and the thing he's talking about, viewers, is Earth Steppers. It's like I don't know exactly what it is, but you know, like Chris McDonald is setting it up. Oh yeah. Um, it's basically, I would say it's like in the style of a rave, and it is all electronic, like local electronic artists, and then a couple of DJs and stuff. But yeah, it's it's like over on the west, yeah, somewhere. I've got the, I got the, I bought the ticket and they sent out the address today. Oh. It's like, you know, that's what I mean about, it's like grave style where um, the, the location what, that goes all day? secret up until today. When is it over? In the middle of the night, yeah. It's In the like middle of the night? All day, yeah. Wow. All day, all night. So you can all night? Much, like show up and leave. That's long as hell. Two p is the beginning and then it goes and, oh, you know, like 2 a.m. or something. Oh my god, that's too long. It's a lot of bands. You don't have to be there for the whole time, you know, just however long. I always feel like whenever I want to, whenever I do those things, I always feel like I want to do it all. I know. I kind of want to show up at two, but then if if I get there at two, there's no way I'm gonna be able to stay there all day. Yeah, I have like a uh, uh, unreasonable completionist attitude about things. Yeah. I remember one time at the film festival, I saw almost every movie at the film festival because I bought a full pass. And I just like didn't leave. And then I was like sleeping there. It's back open too. The it's oh like yeah? Film society. Yeah, they're showing movies like Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Then. Wow. I don't know what to do. I don't know what's right and wrong anymore. Well, I do want to go back there. But uh, is that moral? I think it's moral. Especially it with the amount of attendance that they've been getting, which is very low. All right. It's moral. I'm gonna go. All right, I'm gonna walk over to the couch now. I'm very full. Gotta get up. Oi! And then uh, get on the messages. I made it. Who's on the messages? Anybody? You can call that number up there. Uh, 360 Follow me, message on TV. Or you can go to whitefitmoon.com get on the meet. Here goes, I'm loading the sling. Loading my pills. 
I gotta listen to these yellow fellow messages to uh, give me a time to um How many messages did you leave today? Oh, well, maybe just one. Oh man. Get the wow. prepared pretty quickly. Before we left eleven. Up and down. Did I tell you I saw a bat yesterday? No, where? Um the, a tree fell down at the place that I do landscape work for. Oh. And I was um, sawing up the tree limbs. And then there was this bat that sort of seemed to appear out of nowhere. Um, it must have been in the tree or like hanging on to it. And I thought it was injured at first, but I think it might have just been asleep and then like surprised. Um, yeah, it was out in the daytime? Yeah, well, because I think it was, yeah, it, it was in a sense, out in the daytime, but I don't think it wanted to be. Yeah. It was there on the ground, and I thought it had broken its wing or something. It was making weird, like, clicking noises at me. And then I I went to go get a box to put it in. I was like, I'm gonna, like, help this injured bat. Oh, yeah, you gotta look out at the rugby's. I know, I didn't want to touch it with my actual hands. I had gloves on, but I also, they were not very thick gloves, so I went to go um, get the get like a box. I was going to like put this bat in a box. But then by the time I made it back with the box, it was gone. Huh. It must have uh, flown away. That's what I think. I think it flew away. That's good. And lived happily ever after. I had I ran into a bat too the other day. It was like a couple weeks ago. There was, there was like one was in the garage. Oh, wait, where? At my home in Lacey. Oh, shoot. Yeah, that's Gotta watch out for that. Yeah. They they possibly. <laughs> <are baby. laughs> oh yeah. Hi YDHWM. Hi. Uh. I am cooking armadillo eggs. My boss has these uh, things she made called armadillo eggs, and they're like hot sausage. And it looks like an egg, and in the middle you put like jalapeno, and you fill the jalapeno with like spices and like good cheeses. Um, so I don't really eat meat that much, but I guess I don't care right now. Um, and I'm heating them up in my little micro, uh, not mic, not microwave, it's a uh, toaster oven. And I think they're just about done, they smell pretty good. Um, uh, let me take a look here. Get the light on. Get the light on. Alright. Never mind. Wait, let me find a hot pad. I don't have a, uh, what's it called? Um, I have to use my t-shirt because I don't have one of those hot pads. You know, things you hold hot pans with or whatever they're called. Now let me open this toaster oven up. Oh yeah, these look good. Turn this off. Turn off this oven. Do I even have a plate? Oh, I do. Surprise myself. Um. So step in the right direction. Start. I cooked at home. And I should have done this a while ago because I moved in here months ago. And this might be my first time I've, no, I cooked, actually, I cooked a frozen pizza in here once. But first time I'm eating something good here. This looks pretty good. I can't show you because you're just on the phone here. Um, But it looks all toasty and nice. And yeah, let me get it out. And cheese exploded a little bit, but that's okay. Exploded? 
Armadillo eggs. I'm gonna cut it in half. Ooh, yummy. I'm gonna get a picture. Armadillo eggs. Have you had that before? Got these armadillo eggs. Actually, let me cut it open. What size these eggs are? Picture. It seems like it would be like as big as a goose's egg. Yeah, not real eggs. I think armadillos are mammals, right? No. no. If they lay eggs, can they be? Arm armadillos lay. I don't think armadillos lay eggs, do they? Uh. I don't know. Nobody's Mammals either. don't lay eggs, right? Or does that just mean that they like have milk? Mammals? Yeah. Are there mammals that lay eggs? I think that the platypus is the platypus is the only one. It could be. I think that mammals, like technically, like not laying eggs, is in the like the rules of being a mammal. But I think the platypus still counts as a mammal, even though it doesn't lay eggs. Or it's not a marsupial. A uh, platypus? No, it's a mammal, huh? Marsupials don't have eggs either, though. I think the oh. platypus is like a weird, like, like between mammal and bird or something. Laying the eggs. So I think it's got mammal, or I think the platypus has hair and eggs and milk, maybe. I think armadillo. I think an armadillo is maybe a mammal. Yeah. Unless it's a, like a lizard. Ding. Is it a lizard? No. Lizards have eggs. Yeah. I sort of thought that, like, mammals, the live birth was like a part of it, but... I think it is mostly, but I think the platypus, I think is the exception. It's a, like, frequent characteristic, but not a defining one, I suppose. I would still feel pretty weird, like, eating a mammal's eggs, I guess. Yeah. I mean, what, platypus? Yeah. That's the only one there is. I don't know if any had, but is that what really is this armadillo? He's, like, not... That's not real. Armadillo eggs is, like, um... Just in the shape of an egg. Oh, it's... It's, it's like you... The name of a food. Yeah, you form the food into, uh... Uh, egg shape, but it's, like, meat and, like, peppers and stuff, and then you, like, shape it into an egg. I see. And then you fry it, and then you, I think you bread it, and then you fry it again. Not a real egg. Not a real egg. It's armadillo. It's spicy. Pepper. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So, I'm eating these armadillo eggs. It's pretty good. Nice. Uh, nice and crispy and cheesy and spicy and peppery. Cheese is all creamy. It's like a little greasy and crispy and tasty. Yummy. Mmm. Very good. I'm glad I took the time. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> I'm gonna get a sip of spring water here. Mmm. Some good water. And, uh, Let me, uh, open up this food book I got. From Eric Wareheim. Open to a random page. Pepper cream. That's funny, because I'm eating something that has, like, pepper, like a chili pepper. Or like a, what is it, jalapeno pepper with like a creamy cheese sauce in it. So what a coincidence. Not that mm. many foods. Hey, I'm reading this book while I'm eating. What a I want to make a pizza. Mmm. A pizza called uh, Cheeseheim. Cheeseheim pizza. Sounds like jokes. Potato pizza. I like potato Caper pizza. berry pie. Capers and a pizza. You know what a caper is? I don't really. What? Yeah, I don't know. Is that a pizza? Is a sofrasada? Like, like I guess it's like a meat. Right? 
and hot honey pizza. Weird. There's like our. They look like, like peas, kind of. Right? Anchovy yeah, and lemon pizza. Something. They look like peas, but they're not. I kind of want to try that. Yeah, exactly. They're pickled somehow, right? That's funny. I was actually thinking about that the other day. Some you could put like lemon on pizza. Thing. And it's in this cookbook. How funny. And Tim and Eric uh, got uh, Yellowfell into cooking, huh? But yeah. Armadillo is it's kind of a funny name. Isn't it? Yeah, I think it's supposed to be whimsical. Armadillo? Aren't, aren't, what are armadillo? That's animal. Isn't it animal? Mammal? The animal, right? It's, it is an animal. <laughs> but uh, this is a mammal. Kind of like, like, you know, the palag palaguins? Like, maybe that's the thing that they ate instead of the bats to get the virus, you know? Pangolins? Pangolins, yeah. yeah. Those white people in Europe eating pangolins, you know? Yeah. I don't know if those are mammals. They kind of look like armadillos, at least the ones I've seen. They are, yeah, they're like giant armadillos, right? They look like kind of like Pokemon. They don't even seem like real. They're pang pangolins. Yeah, pangolin. Penguin. Those insatiable uh, white white people always eating weird animals over there in like Europe, you know. There's a whole section on pizza and mm, spaghetti stuff. Mmm. I like pizza. Pizza. Pizza, pizza, pizza. All right. I'm not going to finish the meat part of this. I'm not a big meat boy. But I'm going to clean up my apartment a little bit. And then I'm going to set up for work soon. All right, goodbye. Bye. I'm very full. I ate too much uh, with Bird. I, I, ate, I ate breakfast and then we ate the whole thing and then like three hours later he made a whole dinner too. And I was too full but I ate it all. Um, I'm actually uh, <clears throat> calling again here. I'm not done being hungry. I have muesli. Do you ever have that? What? It's got like, you gotta like soak it in the fridge, it's like cereal. But you gotta like soak it so it gets in milk. Well, I'm using almond milk. So it gets, uh, what is it called? Um, more soft to eat. To eat. But, uh, yeah. Is that whole grain wheat mm -hmm. in here? Whole grain wheat. I've got dates, sunflower seeds. He's reading the package. Raisins. Whole grain rye, milk cup, barley, whole grain oats, whole grain tritakale, I don't know what that is, almonds, flaxseed, and walnuts. Mmm. Our muesli is wonderfully tasty and nourishing. Oh, wonderfully tasty. Yeah, how about that? The Pepsi truck driving into a house that only had a little kitty in it. Poor kitty. What? You know, the Eric Wareheim uh, cookbook is a little annoying. Yeah, I could have guessed. But. I'm definitely going to try to make some food in it. I don't, I think that's 
guys have got annoying. I mean, um, cause why not? Cause this book's all the rage right now. Really? It'd be a topical activity. Go cook some of this stuff with my friends. But it's definitely a little annoying the way it's written in certain ways. You got a joke, dude? But I'm a little annoying myself, so. Spaghetti burritos? I guess I deserve this book. What were those weird cupcakes that Lois made? Um, wait, there was spaghetti burritos, sushi. Sushi pizza? Sushi pizza. Something cupcakes. Ah, uh, what is it? It's not good. Oh, no, appetizing food, yeah. <laughs> We got a light copyright strike, but I do want to keep on looking at some of these commercials. Yeah, I, I do. Yeah, I do have some other. I've been finding some tapes too. In the, uh, I found this thing called. It's not a, it's not a classic, um, it's, like, it's like maybe commercially produced, but it's not American. Hey, you can call us back. You have about 25 minutes. I want to look at 2017. If I can find it, there's lots of tapes out here right now. Oh, is it in there right now? Oh no, it's right here. Yeah, the two, I don't know if we should do a bounce or just leave it. The 2015, also it's like protective outside case. Ready? Uh, uh, like, a little flippy part? Yeah, off. yeah. So it still is like functional, but... Yeah. Oh no, it's on the Get top. something like, better. But it's almost... I mean, it only has one more quarter of the year and then we'll probably never look at it again. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. We're going to say a new thing this time. Whereas, uh, remember when the guy was on the bull and Mr. Kintz was holding us and then the bull spared his life? I'm feeling a little bit sick, I think, from the couch. Maybe it got, got me, too. Thanks. Bye. Oh, I remember that. We, we destroyed the couch. Yeah. We got sick from it. Oh. Yeah. I went to the hey, room. future, it's us. The past. It's past. Good luck in the future and do something about the one thing. Yeah. What thing? All right. Thanks. Pass. Bye. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, man. One more. Today, we're here with Dan Dobler in hey. the past. What do you have to say to the future, Dan? Oh, that's cool. Uh, 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 this, uh, this time uh, next month, I, 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 I'll be, 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 be nicotine free, and I'll be, I'll be free. I'm, I'm going to be free. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to be free. Liberty from nicotine. Can we call Dan yeah, Dobler? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Give me free. Good. Thanks, future. Bye. Bye. Free right now, I think, as far as I'm, I'm as far as I'm aware. All right. Well, I'm not gonna bring it up unless he does. Yeah. I'm not good to remind people of it. I do want to watch those commercials. I, I'm into these sacred tapes we've been getting to look through. All right. I'll call. We'll call Dan Dobler by yellow fella. And then um. Take a look. Yeah. Well, maybe we'll do them both at the same time. I don't know if I have. If I have um. The Dan Doble number in the system, I gotta look it up again. He did get a new number. Oh, he, he went. Uh, recently. Oh, really? Well, maybe. I'm not supposed to know here. <laughs> no, you, I think you are. Tell me. Yeah, I, he didn't either. He just oh. started calling me, and it was like a weird number, and I was like, what is this number, Dan? Like, you oh, know, I got a new phone. So I don't have the number either way, so maybe we'll just look at the tape then. Maybe he'll call me. You could try, but we could also call it. Well, maybe he'll call me and eventually, you know, I don't, I don't want to get his My number. My guess is he has a full-on new phone, so maybe, you know. He'll call, he'll have to call me eventually. All right. I guess. Well, I guess I'm, I'm going to queue up the message of the future. Okay. Then... Look at some of these commercials. All right, and we should try to call Dan. And we try to call Dan anyway, even though we get no number from you. Uh, you could try to call the old. That would be more like keeping with the show. 
Yeah. Go nowhere. That would be fine, I guess. Oh, right, I'm queuing up the message from yesterday. It. Thir yeah, that worked. Okay, that's good. No way. It's oh, yeah. It's Thursday. Bye, future. <laughs> It's so cute. I cued it. It's cute. Showtime at the Apollo. We probably made more stars on this stage than any other stage in the world. And these are the rules. Uh, I don't know where you've been if you don't know how it worked by now, but well, here it is. It's very simple. We got five contestants. That's Steve Harvey. Yeah. He's still doing stuff. He's in the um. He's playing a Prince song. Um. Yeah, like that. What is this tape? Um, you got a tape here. What? You know, is it labeled with anything, or is it just an unlabeled tape? <laughs> Showtime with the Apollo. Trumpet, guitar. What is this guy going to do? Comedy? Hey, yo, what's up, man? They didn't like him. Oh, oh, here's what I want to watch. This is the... I don't think we're going to get copyright uh, for commercials. commercials. Yeah, they... <laughs> Time. Yeah, Later. We have to get in to see Mr. Kimbrough. Right now. Mind if I eat my Big Mac? Oh, no. Oh, Thanks for sandwiching that sandwich. Well, there's a Big Mac mechanical problem. Sounds serious. What's something you can handle? We've oh, solved this problem before. Right, James? James. Big Mac. Make that too. Man, that was a serious Big Mac attack. Yeah, I hear you. Real power, my brother. What you want is what you get. Big Mac. Uh. <laughs> Brother. What if I bring you something for that nasty cold with a touch of honey and lemon and soothing big spank? What if it relieved your sniffling, sneezing, coughing, aching, stuffy head fever so you can rest? That'll be NyQuil. You mean NyQuil hot therapy? Have you ever had NyQuil? I expect her to sweat if she's running a marathon, but not yeah, when we're really close to each other. Getting... You just can't get close to a guy if he smells. A get a little closer with Arid. New improved formula yeah, helps it's... keep you extra, extra dry. Yeah, I trust like Arid. Arid. Meals Nightcap Restaurant and Lounge is reopening in mid-November, featuring breakfast every day at 7 a.m. 36 dinner entrees under $10. A new banquet room and lounge. A new dance floor 50 feet long. Live entertainment, music from the 50s and 60s, and a dress code strictly enforced after 8 p.m. You know, you don't have to drive to the water to enjoy a touch of class. For half the price, Meals has the best combo in town. Excellent food, live entertainment, and dancing seven nights a week. Now that's a combo hard to beat. Now you can buy antiques direct from the Northwest largest importer with the grand opening of Antique World in Linwood and Stone. Antique wardrobe closets, buffets, and dining tables for $198, and antique oak dining chairs only $29. Antique World has quality antique furniture at cordwood prices. Pay no sales tax. Four days only Veterans Day weekend at Waterbed Emporium. Store wide savings. Waterbed starting at $99. Complete bedroom sets only $15 a month. They're old school now. Yeah, what number? You know what number you are? You number two? Four. Four. I'm on four. Okay. Yes? Well, yeah. Um, you ever had a waterbed? I have laid on one. I've never owned one. My had friend a... had one. Who did? Uh, my friend had one. When I was in the 90s. And yeah. it was not very comfortable. And it's I think it had cool. to be heated. Oh, yeah. I would always be afraid of drowning. Drowning in your own bed? <laughs> yeah, like it pops a little bit and... You fall in. Yeah, you just like, don't get up. You're just like, so I think I would probably, you'd probably wake up if you were drowning. You would like to think, but maybe not. I don't, remember when I saw that guy who I thought was going to drown? Like, 
at the um he was in a puddle like at the at the well with his butt out and you saved him i saved his life by kicking him <laughs> hey get out of that puddle everybody Oh, I remember uh, this song. It's the Alcazar song. You missed all this stuff, huh? Yeah, I never even saw this on TV. Ah. Uh. You ever read Alcazar, sir? No, I like the idea you drop it in. I remember uh, on that movie, The Hidden, he takes Alcazar one day. Someone else gives him like another like medicine and he drops it into the water, you know? Oh, because it's not that. Yeah, I think that's what you do for all of them? Yeah. Uh, I know what you want. Take a bath. This is weird. It's cleaner than soap? <laughs> what is it then? <laughs> it's zest. <laughs> it's better than soap? Cleaner than so. Looking for God? He doesn't know who. I say what hand book? He says the book in your hand. I've but never heard of what? God. This is a cool. It's like a cool guy. Find it, Christian faith cool guy, God, like, hey, God is cool. Hey, hey, I'm a cool guy. Have you seen this God thing? Oh, man, you heard of God? No? Oh, you haven't heard of God? Wow. Check this out. Let me tell you, I got some news. Let me hip you to this cat, you cool cat. God, God is hip. Who's this cool? Let me tell you. Let me know you can find him. He's in that book. Renegade. Book. Oh, this book, the Bible. It's uh, you'll love it. Uh, it's cool. Don't you want to be cool? Yeah. Uh, what do you think? I've been we watching these old commercials. I feel like they're uh, they're better. They are better. Even the God commercial, I'd rather see that than. Yeah. I don't is, know what. is salvation not enough? Like a, a big enough selling point? Like. I think I think they should focus on the salv. I like like the salvation and the um the fire and brimstone. Like well, yeah, people don't want the fire and brimstone though. They're like, hey, you ever heard of God? Because if you haven't, literally, you'll burn in hell. Yeah, that's why I really like that guy um speaking the truth in love. Is that what it's called? Yeah, it is. That's exactly it on TCTV. Yeah, but it, is it still there? I don't know. He was having. I remember. I remember like it, he was already having a hard time uh, doing his show when they moved to the new cameras. He was like, "I don't really like this. I like the DV cameras." Yeah. Well, they should have just given him an old DV camera then. Yeah. Um. What about uh, his show? His show is no longer going. I think. I wonder. Is, is there like back episodes of that stuff? I know that the guy who was helping produce it is has passed away, so I'm not sure. Was that Vaughn? No, it was uh, Bob. They were all named Bob. It was Bob Lots something. of Bobs, huh? Bob. Not Neil. Not. Uh, Hello, young yeah, fellow. Hello? Hello, young yeah, fellow. That was Colin? Yeah, he called, but it's not. Didn't seem to have work. Not working. His show Dragon. was his show was really good because like his, that show was like not like, it was like obviously about her. Yeah. <laughs> like, like not his show. It was like my show. We called it his show, and then I really like speaking the truth in love because that guy was like n not being lovely at all. He was really dark. I don't remember what he said. I wish I knew. I'm going to go find that guy's show. Uh. But he, he would just be like, he was just like looking at the camera. In <laughs> his <laughs> kitchen, usually. Yeah, in his kitchen, just like with the cupboards. I don't even know what he said. But, 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 like, if I had to like think about what it was, he's just like, if you do bad things, you're going to go to hell. <laughs> like, I don't know what that's like the gist of it. And he's just like saying stuff like that. He's definitely like, like, on, uh, like working on the uh, truth aspect, less on the love aspect. It's like, 
yeah. I'm saying these truths in love. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Literally, uh, yeah, you're you're gonna burn. Yeah, he was really talking about getting burned a lot. <laughs> in a weird way, that it's the inspiration we made just to have a show where it's just like, yeah, you can just play at your face and talk for a while, and that's the show. And then I, I met him at the picnic, and I told him I was a big fan, and he didn't seem very pleased. He wanted his fans to be like uh, living differently or something. White. <laughs> okay. Oh, that could be. Yeah. The Google subscriber uh, you have called is not available. Well, Please leave a message. Uh, um. Yeah. Can we, can we find like old copies of his show? Uh. Wait. Speaking the truth of love or oh, his show? Either. I think so. I mean, definitely there's still the TCTV DV archives. I should we could, uh, check that out tomorrow and yeah. see what's all there. I wonder if we could just, just call that guy. Tell him we'll help him produce his new show. What was his name? It was like Gary Smith? It's a very generic name. I think it was something like that, though. Oh, yeah. I, I think I kind of want to help, like, call that guy and be like, hey, I'll help you make a new show. But I feel like I would taint it. It's, like, going to be, like, like the... Uh, I don't know, like maybe... Every time you had an idea to like change a show, you would like try to keep it as close as like, your idea of the show is, was? Yeah, it's like this... Or I don't know what I would do, but I'm trying to think. There's like other things where like, like they... Like Daniel Johnston, you know? You know Daniel Johnston? Yes. And like he was like doing really weird things in his basement for a while, but then he got like moderately famous and at the end... He was, everybody was, like, making, like, a band for him and stuff, and he had a lot of help. Oh, yeah, it's sort of like uh, David Liebehart or something, too. Yeah, David Liebehart, but, I mean, but I don't know if David Liebehart, oh, yeah, he was good, but when he was, when he was running everything himself, and it was weird. With, but, like, uh, puppets and things, and now they're like, well, now you have a punk band or something. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is like old number for for Dan Doubler. I don't know what happened Let to you. Let try. Huh? Calling it. All right. Ugh. I wanted to talk to Yellow Fell. I think we're playing some phone tag. Stacking the tapes. Lots to stack. The subscriber you have dialed is not in service. If you feel you've received this message in error, please hang up and try your call again later. Message NV1306. The subscriber you have dialed is not in service. NV1530 Do you feel like that? Is that. In error or what? Yeah, I don't know. What are you gonna do? Oh, again, if you reached it in error. Should we uh, call the re call the new number? I, is that is that um, allowed? I think so. I bet he would be happy. I bet he would want to hear from the program. All right, a call. You're gonna have to show me the number. I'm going to find it here. Look at my voicemails. I'm going to try to call my brother. I think he's... Uh, he might be there. We've been watching this giant TV. It's ridiculous. Uh -oh. oh, I think I'm calling him. Oops. Uh -oh. oh, this is the number. Yep, accidentally tried to call him. Top one. Uh. All right. Yep. I don't know. See, it's looking good. Look at, look over here. Yeah, looking good. 
lot of stacked boxes. Right. Because we need to still put together a um, camera on the on the table there. I don't think he ever listens to his voicemails anywhere. It might be. I wonder if he has his voicemail set up. Yeah, I, I just turned it so that I could get the uh, audio plugged in. Uh, I stood up now. I got a burp. Still very full, huh? Yeah. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> All right. Hey, future. That's the past. Please push the record key. I ate too much. Uh, it's Friday. We went to the, uh, the ocean. Did you see the ocean? Are you uh, alive? How are your, how's your health? Are the pills working? Are you super power? Oh yeah, we might be get, getting on um, free radio Olympia. Bye, future. We have to talk about that on the show. Well, the we have time show. right now. Yep. Got Tomorrow. Um, I'm talking to a DJ at Florida Olympia about um, getting the program on there. I don't know what it's how or what to do yet, but um, I saw them at a live music event outdoors. It was like a vaccine required masks only outdoor event thing. Talked to them. Um, and I said, I kind of told them a little bit about the show, and actually Arrington and China were there too, and they also said good things about the show. Um, I think we gave a pretty good representation of what it was. I kind of talked about the the past, where yeah. we um, were on Cope that one time. <laughs> yeah. Very well. Uh, yeah. But I think the reasons that we got kicked off of COA actually are like um, positive things to Free Radio Olympia. They like that. What, that we were calling McDonald's too much? Isn't that what? No, I, that's not why. It, ha it had to do with Mr. Ginsu, like, what, cursing. Curse? Oh, they, yeah. they want, they want, for a wants cursing? I don't think, like, if you ask them directly, they would be like, yes, we want cursing. But I feel like it draws a crowd of people who want to be able to at least allow cursing. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> like, they, yeah, they don't censor their music. Yeah. Those things. So I think that's like a lot of people maybe are drawn to Fro just being like, oh, yeah, you can say fuck on the radio yeah. here. <laughs> um, we're going to get on there. That, um, is it on the radio? I mean. Yeah, yeah, 91.9. We like. You can also, uh, they're also looking for DJs, and I was thinking you could have, you got your personal radio. Oh, yeah, I want a DJ. You could just record that, and then actual radio could be on the real radio. That would be cool. I would yeah. do that. So, all in all, it's a, it would be a great collaboration. So, we're talking to them tomorrow. What is the station? Uh, 91.9. Uh, 91.9. Oh, what the? Oh, yeah, I was getting on the meat, I bet. Nice. 91.9. Oh, come on, thing. Uh, I gotta get him on there before. I'm trying to get the, um, 
Trying to find row. Oh, didn't find it. Oh, that's okay. Okay. Oh, nope. Catherine. Oh, the neat? Uh, different Catherine. Oh. Hi. Hello. Hi. We only have about two minutes left. You called the very end of the show again. I did? Yeah. I turned on YouTube and I saw it was live. Well, only for two minutes. For two minutes? What are you guys doing? We are about to get on the radio. We're looking at this local radio station and they're going to have the show on the radio. We can curse on this? Yes. That's fuck, the whole fuck, 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 fuck. Yeah, there, you, there you go, yeah. We were just actually just talking about how like this radio station might like cursing. Well, maybe you heard what's that. the radio it's station? It's pirate radio, and I feel like you can't prove Pirate your, radio. You can't prove your pirate radio unless you curse on it. Pirate radio? It's called, yeah, it's pirate radio. Is it actually pirate radio? I think it is. Is it? It's not sanctioned, right? Yeah, how do you define pirate radio? Did the guy, did the guy you talked to have an eye patch? He did not have an eye patch. Oh, well, well, I was like, are, are they like just like a like a above the board channel trying to brand themselves as pirate radio, or is it? I'm pretty sure no, that you. I think they're hiding from the FCC, actually. Wait, that's so cool. We're gonna get on Am there. Am I distracting you from getting on that? We're gonna get on there. No, you're not. But the show is over. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, sh oh shit. Bye. James, James, get on here at the end of the show too. James, the show is over. You 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 called over. The show ended. Darn. Bye. Bye. <laughs> well, okay. Hi, James. We'll come come back bye. tomorrow. Okay. Bye. Okay, bye. Bye, Catherine. Come back tomorrow too. Before, <laughs> bye. Before it's over. Bye. bye.